Well, um, I think that the de technological development for the developing world is a two-edged sword. On the other hand, it allows so, uh, some populations to leapfrog in, in development. I mean, you just look at the, uh, the proliferation of cell phones uh, in the third world that, that reduced the necessity for so many of these countries to build telephone or communications infrastructures in the way that other uh, developed countries had done so in the past. Uh, however, uh, to the degree that technological development and patents and uh, are largely held by the rich countries of the world, they become a means by which uh, to further exploit and, and uh, oppress those who don't control the technology. Uh, so um, uh, I think it's a double-edged sword, and it depends on what the economic relations in any particular country are. I, I just learned at this conference, for instance, that uh, Chile <laughs> passed uh, a, uh, a law uh, mandating uh, uh, net neutrality. Uh, uh, so Chile uh, is the first country to actually have it uh, uh, as, a, as a law, not just as a regulation. Uh, and uh, uh, so uh, in that sense, in, in terms of dealing with, um, with the, the technological development of the internet, Chile is far ahead of most other places in the world. Uh, and uh, uh, so I think that uh, it all depends on what the balance of political forces are in any particular country that determine how the technology uh, will be uh, uh, utilized, uh, whether it's utilized for the benefit of enriching the same small circles of people in the country or whether it's used as a way to liberate people and to make their lives better.